Hey, what's going on everybody? Slowly but surely we're getting better from that damn cold and everything's coming back together. It's noisy because I got both washers and both dryers going just in case you're interested. We're washing some blankies and stuff like that in there and stuff like that. It's on delicate kind. You get to watch that for a little bit. And then this one's gonna stop. But I got other blankies and shit in there. But that, of course, is not what this video is about. We had a fail, ladies and gentlemen. I'll show you the fail in a moment. Oop. But over here is a new network switch because the old one got knackered. There's all my ports and plugs and stuff like that. See, what had happened was. I was busy watching uh, some YouTubes and suddenly the video just stopped playing. So I tried, you know, reloading it and uh, it didn't work. And then I looked and noticed the connection and the taskbar said, nah, -uh. and I came down here and found my old, uh, you know, Linsky's brand, you know, because everybody calls it Linsky's because that, that has to be what it is because that's exactly not what it says. But anyway, my old Linsky's, uh, <laughs> that I got, it was a pretty good deal. I got it for like 30 bucks back, you know, way back in the day, it was 24 port just like this guy. But I found this one, it was 50 bucks, five year warranty and shit. But in the meantime, my whole network was down because I got my three servers plugged directly into the, into the router. And then uh, there's one more port which uplinks to this and that's it. And then I remembered I was at Nick's shop and Nick just so happened to throw in a 24 port Dell switch. <laughs> so I had it right in the trunk the whole time. So I used that temporarily located. And uh, that's that. But uh, in case anybody's interested, uh, I got this kind of like free kind of thing. And it's supposed to, if you, if you hit the, the stop button, it stops the interwebs from getting. So basically it goes from the cable modem into that, out of that, into the, into the uh, router out of the router into the switch and blah 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 from there and it's just useless but it has a big green light on it and you can stop the interwebs if you want so it's there and it probably slows down the interwebs even more but it, it's there anyway so anyway that's the new networking shit is it you know it doesn't quite fit on the shelf and it also sits on the screw that holds everything so it sits just slightly cattywampus, you know, not perfect, but it fits a lot better than I thought it would. But let's go back to the Linsky's and see what the deal is. Okay, here's what's left of it. This was a Linsky's uh, EF4124 24 port 10 100 switch, but one of the main reasons I really, really like this switch was if you look at the front bezel here, see all these holes? It, it showed Lincoln activity and uh, if there was a full duplex or a collision um, in half duplex mode. So you had two rows of lights for every single port on it. So a whole shit ton of lights and they were real fucking LEDs. Look at that. Actual real honest to goodness LEDs and it died. And it looks like it could have had two more there. But anyway, what died, it looks like the power supply did. If you look at that capacitor right there, I don't know how well you can tell, but it looks suspiciously crowned as if it's bulging. It hasn't vented yet, but compared to this one and this one and this one, that one looks kind of bulgy. So that's no good. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to meter that. In fact, I haven't even plugged this in in several days now, so let's just see what's going to happen first. Let's just uh, plug it in. Yeah, I'm not afraid of the water and all that. It's good. Just plugged in right there. That's what I was getting. See, last time I was getting all the lights were just flashing. That's another reason why I really like this, because is real fucking lights instead of lights behind a smoked cloudy plastic 
but it was just doing that. All these lights were on and just flashing like that. And then I left it out for a while, plugged it in, and I was getting this. So let me just kill it just so I don't kill myself anymore, get a meter, and we'll see what we get. Okay, all our lights are back on, and we're reading 3.28 volts, which is not fluctuating. Now the thing is, I don't know if this is actually meant to run on 3.3 volts, or if it's supposed to be able to be running on 5 volts, because obviously I don't have any and it doesn't tell you anything and crap like that. Um, I could be totally wrong here, but I have nothing to lose at this point because it's completely dead. But from what it looks like, my guess is that being that all of these are basically controlled by logic, this is going to run on 5 volts instead of 3.3. I could be totally wrong and I could blow it up, but I'm willing to take that chance because it ain't working now and I do know it's got a bulging cap, so that may be the deal. So. First step, unplug that. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it for a bit and let whatever residual juice in there dissipate while I play around and get whatever other stuff I'm gonna need. So I'll come back in a minute. Here's a suitable uh, power supply to run this. I think it should be, uh, should be big enough, right? I think so. Anyway, this is an old com crap over here, upside down. No switch on the back. Uh, this particular power supply actually happened to come out of the machine that lives right on the inside of this wall outside. <coughs> and you kind of can't see because they got junk in front of it and shit. But anyway, the old com crap that was out there, it had blown caps all over the board and was failing and dying and all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, of course, I saved the power supply because I need that kind. I have pins four and five shorted because the green is the power good signal. To short that to ground, this is just a piece of wire out of standard Romex that's laying around. No need to buy fancy tools and shit like that. Meter leads hooked up, meters on DC volt, 20 volt scale. And we'll plug it in and see what we get. See if it even works or if it goes bang. Five volts, give or take, with no load on it. Fan's running ever so slowly, but it's running. So I'll unplug that, just because it doesn't need to be running now. We'll get some alligator clip wires and see if we can blow something up. Okay, moment of truth. We're either gonna blow something up, or it's gonna work, or it's gonna do the same shit. So what I have here is plugged right in the Molex connector. The red wire is connected to the green wire, which is sitting waiting. The white wire is hooked to the black next to it. That's for five volts, the red and the black. And that's on the first two pins in there, which were the black wires on that connector. There's five pins in that, but only four were used in here. The last one was just a blank, so we don't need to worry about that. So we're gonna go right in between those two pins there and see if it goes boom. So we'll apply power. Okay, fan's running. And here we go for maybe a boom, I don't know. Oh. Aha. Aha. Okay, what we're seeing there, I don't know how well the camera came up with that, but I think this is gonna work. <clears throat> My gut feeling is that this supply was not putting out proper voltage. And as such, it wasn't clearing its diagnostics. So what we're gonna did is, being that that appears to work, I'm gonna hook a link cable into it, out of that into a machine, and we'll see if we have connectivity from it. And if we do, then we should get proper link and flow and all kinds of great shit lights and that, and then we could just mount a fucking supply on top of it and we're done. So let me rig all that up now. Okay, before we do anything and hook it up to the network, I just have a cable just looping right around, so it should theoretically link to itself. Uh, that's plugged into one and 24, so we should basically have top end here and bottom end there. Power supply, I don't know if it's making a good enough contact, we'll find out, but we're gonna plug in over here, get lined up, let's try it out. There you go, bad power supply. 
All we have to do is rig up a five volt supply and she's back up and running. And you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I may just fucking put it back in service. I love that kind. Okay, it's do or die time. The blue wire is coming in from my main network. This white wire coming out is the one I just used to loop before. They're just plugged into random ports. I haven't tested this yet, so we don't know what's gonna happen. That's plugged in through a coupler because it ain't long enough to the yellow cable. Plugged into this slimline PC running on its own external power supply I'll get to in a moment. And here we have a screen without a stand on it. <laughs> we'll get to all that in a moment as well. And as you can see, there's no connectivity because we're not connected with power here. So now we're just gonna plug that in. Hope that I don't blow up my network. Good. Blink, 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 blink. Have a nice day. I love that kind. And just uh, so we know there's proof positive, we'll go to the Google Chrome over here. See, it's my new flat screen. <laughs> it is my default browser. Oh no, don't ask. I just reinstalled Windows on this, just for fun. And, uh, oh, I got my uh, monitor cable on the keyboard there. So we'll go to the tubes. There you go. It's working. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, we'll just click anything that's here, just to see that it plays. Something's playing. We should have blankety blanks here. We have blankety blanks. So data is indeed being transferred. And uh, let's see, is anything getting exceptionally hot? These are a little warm, but they do have heat sinks, so that's probably why. Everything else is remaining nice and cool. These chips here are cold. So really all I need to do is dismount the power supply cut the wires and connector. I'll save that, obviously, because that'll plug in the board a lot better than uh, just this crap. And uh, I do not have a supply that small, but I could just use this, theoretically, potentially. You know what? Let's put the watt meter on it and see how much it actually uses to see if it's going to be worth it or if I should look for another power supply. Okay. Disconnected, watt meter plugged in, power cord. We have our link lights back. We're using eight watts. Once it eight to eight to nine watts. Once it starts up, let's refire it one more time. Disconnect zero. It just kind of fades out, sort of. I don't know if that's good or not, but pulls about 16 watts for a bit and then settles at 8. Everything's connected. So 8 to 9 watts. Alright, now just for shits and giggles, uh, even though it doesn't work, Let's disconnect, well, we'll just unplug this over here, back to zero. Disconnect my network cables because I don't want to blow up the network. Get rid of those, get rid of those. Plug this back in. This isn't really a true test because we don't know, because it's not really outputting the right voltage in that. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, why don't you just get another capacitor, Jay, and just fix it? And that's certainly an option for the future. But I also found that this resistor here, uh, which I believe is what it is, gets really hot. And I think it is supposed to, but it gets, like, really hot, which is great, right next to the damn capacitor that failed. So, anyway, um, I'm not plugging the network cables in. That might actually have a, an effect on how much it uses. Oh, I even hear it screaming. And look, the wattage is higher. I don't know if you can hear that. 
but let's unplug it before we damage the logic. So, yeah, it looks like we got a winner. Less wattage, it works. Yeah, it'll be bulky and shit, who gives? And uh, that's really it. Maybe I'll open it up just to take a look inside and make sure that's not on the verge of blowing up. No, let's do that. Okay, here's the power supply opened up. And if that doesn't count as bulging, and I don't know, they may supposed to actually look that way. Uh, everything else in here looks pretty decent. These caps aren't bulging. Everything is good. Fan runs quiet. It's a little dusty, but not too bad. It's not, you know, it's not the worst supply I've seen. There's some spider webs and shit in there. Maybe we'll hit her quick with uh, some compressed air in that. And that's really about it. So now, <clears throat> I'm left with, how do I integrate this with that? And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I have, I don't know if I have, but I'm going to see if I have a little either extension cable for the Molex or maybe a fan extension cable or some crap laying around. Maybe want to cut off something. For this, I'm actually just gonna tape it up just in case that I done short to anything. We'll leave it right like that. That thing will plug in over here. Then my wires will come out and that I can cut off and run into the switch right through the back. So let's actually dismount that power supply and I'll close this guy up and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. I thought about, actually here's a cap I didn't see. No, that one looks good too. Um, I thought about actually cutting all the wires back because nothing here is connected to each other. You know, they're all just separate wires. So. I thought about just cutting everything back and just running out the, uh, or actually the, the green and the black next to it, I could actually just wire together internally, clip all the other wires off right here, and just have a red and a black run out just to run that. But then of course, I can never, ever, ever, ever use this power supply for anything else. It's highly unlikely I'm gonna need that because I got a stack of old power supplies here. I even got some AT ones. You can see there's a switch there from the old AT style, but I could use one of those. But I figure, you know, I'll save those because they're becoming more and more rare. And I'll use an ATX style one because those are incredibly common and you can pick them up for like 10 bucks even now. And that's regardless of this being an old, uh, very old power supply as a matter of fact, where it does, it does, you know, it's only 20 pin and it doesn't even have the separate four pin uh, P4 connector I used to call it, uh, whatever it was back in the day. Uh, let's see if there's a date on this thing. Well, it's made in China, that's good to know. It's got a genuine HP part number, or compact part number, and uh, there's another part number there, it's 250 watt, uh oh, I voided my warranty, shit, what am I going to do now? Well, I guess this is a non-returnable part, um, you know, I don't really see a date on this. This machine was uh, out of a Celeron 1.1 with Windows XP and maybe 256 mega RAM. So if I had to take a stab at it, I'd say very early 2000, somewhere in there. So that would make this about 12, 13 years old. Some crap like that. Um, I could go and look at other crap here. There's probably, I'm sure, you know, something here means something to somebody. If anybody could tell me. It's got an eight, but not a date. I guess that's when it last ate. I don't know if it eats motherboards for a living or some crap like that. And of course you could take it out and date the caps and I don't know. I don't know how to, you know, I'm not all into that kind of stuff. But anyway, let me close this up and see what we're gonna do here. Okay, 
power supplies out. That was real easy. There were only uh, three screws, two through the uh, IEC connector, and one right there, which go there and there. That was ground wire. I just put the screws back just so they'll be in there in case for one day I ever don't bother fixing this. Because, you know, you don't throw out junk like this that doesn't work. You just keep it in a pile for one day. That uh, that day never comes. Anybody else is in the computer field and you work on old shit, you know what I'm talking about. You just put it aside for that one day where you might need it for some reason. And just to show you, that's what this would basically look like, except without the hole in the middle there. Because uh, I don't have the faceplate on, which, of course snap right back on afterwards but anyway just run the wires in there attach to that plug and by the way I've seen this done in a lot of laptops for some reason they'll do this I guess the reason is so they can use and get away with uh, lower lower gauge wire that they just have although they used higher gauge wire here or high, they can all right like everybody else you always say it wrong but you know what you mean okay this is a high number gauge wire. This is a lower number gauge wire. So they could have used lower gauge wire here, in other words, fatter wire, but instead they used higher gauge, thinner wire, <laughs> and basically two negatives, two positives, if you will. And um, they're just tied together, really. Uh, at least that's what I do in a laptop and it worked when I tested it here I just shorted these two together and those two together on the board inside the the Linsky's You know and just to clear the air. I know it's Linksys, but it's Linsky's because that's what it says, right? See Linsky's 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 right, okay Got it. Just just wanted to make sure everybody knew that it's Linsky's. <laughs> Fucking retarded. <laughs> anyway, we'll cut that wire off and uh, see what else we're going to get up to. Okay, we're in the process of wiring up a cable here. This is the old connector off the old power supply. I'm just junking it because it's useless to me. Uh, this is much, much, uh, let, let's see, uh, let's get it right, uh, lower gauge wire there, uh, yeah, <laughs> than I need, but it was handy, so that's why I'm using it. Got some, uh, heat shrink tubing on there, nice big one to cover everything up when I'm done. Iron's heating up, other end is sitting there waiting, and unfortunately, this is all I could find without really going into the junkyard. And this wire is real thin, but you know what? I think it'll work. Um, if anything, it's gonna get a little warm, but considering this whole supply is pulling about eight or nine watts, I really can't see that being too much of a problem. And of course, I could just monitor that, you know, leave it run for a while, see what happens. <coughs> see, uh, you know, I'll leave the whole thing, see how unstable it's gonna be and crap like that. So anyway, uh, I'm not going to show you how to solder because that's beyond the scope of this video, but I am going to show you the finished product. As abominable as my soldering skills are, I decided I will actually solder and heat shrink this just uh, because I can. Okay, if you call that soldering, I really don't, but that's about as good as I can do. And now, just because I can, I'll use my heat gun. Good. Put that over here for a second. Put the camera down. Slide this up and over. Everything. And now we'll shrink this edge down and edge, whatever. So shrink against for you. Put a 
put that together better with that and uh, make it you know, better, you know, with the fitment, make the fitment better. That's well cooked over there. And it's still a little hot, but anyway, there's your connection. It's all heat shrinked and fancy and stuff like that. Now we'll just wire up the other end. Now, uh, the other end, yeah, fuck it, I'll just heat shrink it because this wire is much longer than I need, so let me just do that. Okay, now rinse. We got those on. And then I got another piece here. It's a little one just because it was handy and it was in the box and crap like that. So we'll just kind of put it sort of there. That'll be good enough. That's going to be too big at that end, but it's, it's too bad because I don't what I got, and it won't go any smaller time. So that's going to have to do for that. I'll leave that so don't burn the fucking house down because it's a made in China heat gun, and you know I mean I already cooked the towel and shit. That won't get any smaller kind, so it's just gonna have to be, but it's all connector rated in there. Probably warped the plug, which I also had to move, by the way, when I found this. The red was in the third hole, so I had to move that <laughs> and transplant it in there. Plus the wires are too thin for really what I wanted. And even more interesting, is, uh, let's see if I can move that without killing myself. Do this. This, over here, if you can line the pins up, makes for a very sloppy fit. It's like really loose. But if you go to the next connector, that fits together rather well. And it requires, you know, a good bit of force to pull it out. So I don't know. But anyway, here's our new, newly made up cable. Somewhere in there. Doesn't matter if it's upside down, right? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, let's wire that up. Okay, there's a sort of homemade sort of strain relief using the screws there. Yeah, I know, it's gonna cut the wire and short out your power supply. And then I'll just plug another fucking one right into the goddamn Molex connector, so shut up. Anyway, that's that. We'll just put that over there. That'll fall right off of that and shit. And I could tie a knot in it maybe if I wanted, but I kind of don't want it on account of that I don't need it. And we're going to put the cover on and put the bezel in place and fire it the fuck up and just go for broke. Okay, we're wired up, ready for a maiden voyage. Here we go. This we just got here, and I don't have enough uh, heat shrink to go around the whole thing and make it... A really nice plug but anyway you know that already you saw it wire going in looped around the screw kind of just sort of there plugged into port 1 and 24 just for shits and giggles whole box dryers finally done cool whole box is back together power cords in computers on where we left it and we're gonna go for broke and just see what happens Yeah! See, with the fancy, I'll just put tape on that, I think. Just trying to get an IP address. Uh, I don't know about this particular machine, really. Uh, I'll have to see if it's going to get an IP address. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Perhaps it blew up some of the ports? I don't know. Some don't work. Well, still got lights. There's everything running. Nice and calm there. That obviously won't get warm. Not even. Maybe a little. Could be this machine because I haven't. I'll restart it. There we go. Came right up some reason it just didn't like being plugged in and I didn't even restart so we'll just come over here to the the chrome because I love that kind I 
Maybe I didn't even click on it. I don't even know. I guess I did. This machine might still be knackered. I, I don't know really. It might be floating. But anyway, it does show we're connected. So I'll wait till this comes up and find out what the hell's going on and then I'll show you. Okay, we got blankety lights. Everything's plugged in. Wire, same wire running. Running a speed test. So almost 60. And of course the upload is still always piss poor as everything is. It's actually not too bad. Not too bad for a Saturday. Not bad at all. So that's it. It's hooked up. It works. Everything's together. It's obviously done transferring its data. But, you know, they're talking to each other and... Tape this up. With my little uh, wire in there as you saw before. It's just in there. You can actually see the outline of it right there. It's on. It doesn't flicker when I play with it. It stays on. This is all the noise it makes. Maybe you could hear it. Maybe you can't. Wires are staying nice and cool. So, I don't know why they have the multiple shits in there, but... Anyway, it's all back together. Now, am I going to put it back in service? Eh, maybe, I don't know. It's just kind of because I already hooked up the other one. You know, and that's just here and kind of working. And You know, I mean, I could hook up the Dell one here and, and the old one and have, uh, you know, a whole bunch of ports and crap like that. 72 ports that I don't need. And uh, run all kinds of extra networking equipment I don't need to run. But this has that made in China green stuff. Mine is still running about 8 or 9 watts. With my little setup here. The new made in China switch is using was 5, now it reads 3. But it is that China green stuff, so who knows, you know. And it's supposed to have a 5 year warranty kind, but God only knows if it's going to make it that long. Looks like the Dell is winning here with only one watt being used, but then again you have to remember that ain't nothing plugged into it right now. <laughs> so that might make a difference. Uh, I don't know. The, uh, the Linsky's is fixed. And it's detachable now. See it's got its own cable and cord and plugs into any PC power supply. In fact if I wanted to I could probably rig this up to fucking run off USB, but some twink has probably already done that. No offense to anybody, but uh, anyway, somebody's done that, I'm sure, just because you can. And, uh, you know, again, I am pumping a 250-watt fucking supply instead of a little Made in China board. But anyways, she works, and I could put it back in service. I could even, if I wanted, just slap that on there, a couple of pieces of double-stick tape, call it a day, and uh, leave that mess up there, but... I don't know, we'll try the new switch out for a while and see. This one's fixed and working, plug into anything. I really wish I had a better, because that's just kind of floppy cock right there, but that's what I had handy, so, you know, without having to go through digging stuff. I found a couple others, but they were still on the fans themselves, and they were like Sunon fans that were kind of noisy, but certainly moved a nice, a nice bit of air, I'll show you. Things I do for the YouTube, look what I get for it now. Got a nice scratch on there because this tab, when I went to pick it up, it's got a nice sharp edge. You know, you gotta think shit like that through, Jay. You know, can't have any sharp edges to make a scratch on it. But anyway, here's the fan I was talking about. God damn it! It's a Sunon fan. Uh, I have no idea what the CFM is. It's made in Taiwan, actually, and it's plugged into our Fakakta supply here with the same everything. This is not connected just for funsies and... So if you can hear that... 
take it off the supply so it's not as noisy. But you can kind of hear it. This one apparently has been in service for a while, as you can tell. Don't touch the back of the fan, you'll hurt yourself. Oh, it's metal blades, maybe. But this is a, a very tenacious fan that certainly moves a, a considerable amount of air. There. So anyway, now I got a scratch Linsky's and uh, a fan that's noisy that I just wanted to show you and all kinds of great shit like that.